Rider, which is with the Holiday Ops. Uh, you want to go over here where it says Deco Rider. And what this does is it creates decorations. Uh, they're, they look like stamps that go into your album. And you see over here it says collection bonus. You got this chart. I'm currently at 1.3%. I'd like to get up to 23%. What that means is that I will get a 23% bonus to credits over the course of the next month if I complete the album. Now, if you play premium tanks, you would know you could make a few million credits per day playing the game. Over the course of a month, I could easily get a few million credits in bonus. So I'm going to start with level one. You could actually do any level. But level one is the cheapest. We're going to do a little experiment. We're going to see what happens if I use the Deco Rider and I do everything random. Level one. It says available shards 2440. You see how it says the cost is 40? Now watch what happens when I craft. I paid 40 to get this. This shows up over here. Actually, there's two of them. I only get 10 back. So that means every time you hit a duplicate, I'm losing 75% of my value. So you want to avoid doing that. You want to avoid the duplicates, which means that you would use uh, the anti-duplicator. Okay, so when we go to the collections, we're going to go to level one. It's right here. This one's all complete. This one is mostly complete. Uh, this one is mostly complete. And this one is half complete. If I do a level one decoration, I've got less than a 50% chance of creating something that I can use. And I have a greater than 50% chance of having a 75% loss on my stamp. So that's why you don't want to do that. You will earn these playing the game. Wow, look at that. That book is filled. You're going to earn the level 1s and the level 2s. It's very difficult to earn the level 5s. Oh, look at that. Okay, the reason why this is full is because I paid for loot boxes, and it gives you a lot of level 5 decorations. You'll notice that this one is empty because it's very difficult to get level 5 decorations. And same here. However, the advantage is you don't have to use the anti-duplicator. I do have 18 charges. That is a lot. The 18 charges guarantees that you will get something that's compatible. If you don't use it, there's a chance that you might lose 75% of your value. That's why you use the anti-duplicator, which looks like uh, this purple uh, bar going across. You see how they are over here. So they do have value. That's a lot of shards to put out that uh, that number five level. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to hit one of these. 1080 is a lot of money. However, we could try a random collection. Brings it down to 720. As long as I don't hit the one that I already purchased the loot boxes for, I've got a 75% chance of hitting one of these, and I could turn on the anti-duplicator, which means I'm going to spend 300 less, and I'm going to get something that I want. See how it works? Oh, look at that. Level 4 is a lot cheaper. We're going to check out level 4. I need a lot for level four. I need a lot for level three.
but it's different for every album. So in some cases, this one very easy, but in the Christmas one, I already have a lot of them. So I'm going to do some Deco Riders. Do Deco Rider. I am going to do... Um, I want to save money. That price goes up a lot. If I do this, I can do 10 of them. And if I do this, I can use 20, and I can do it with the anti-duplicator on. But we don't want the Christmas tree. We want random. If you're going to use the anti-duplicator, you probably want to have the random on. You, for the anti-duplicator, you want random for this, random for this. But for level, you probably want it to be high, like level 5. So for this, I'll be able to do around eight of them. This one, it looks like I could do about 20 of them. Maybe that one makes sense. Maybe I could hit this and turn this on. It won't let me do it. Oh, I got to do a collection. Which brings up the price. Select the level. I selected the level. The type. Oh, you got to do the type also. And then you get it on. It means you do got to pay more. Okay, so they can't use the random function. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pick one of these. And I will do... We'll look at uh, level four. It picked the collection, the level, and the decoration type. I'm going to turn this on. Bam! This is actually going to go into your shards. So you can actually reuse it. It says that the... Uh, how much I get back is 80. I guess I paid 360. And there it is. So keep repeating this process and you'll be able to fill in uh, these books and get your collection bonus to go higher. So how do you get the collection bonus to go higher? You see over here it says level 4 decorations, 3 out of 13. That means nothing. Good. You go by this, where it says 22 out of 92. You see over here it says collection bonus, it says 11 to 23. That means I got to kick it up to 24. I got to get two more before it goes into the next bonus. So the one with the snowflake, I've already gotten up to one of the highest levels. But these other three are at the lower level. So we're going to check out the level. This is at 22. This is at 22. This is at 14. So for this one, I have to do a lot more work to get up to the next level. So we're going to do it for this one. I will pick this. Turn on the anti-duplicator. Cost is the same. Bam! And there it is. You see how there's like a little uh, building over here? This one shows like a little menorah. It's a small illumination. This one has pavilion. If you find two that are the same, then... You don't have to go back to the collection and pick a new one. You can do it right from the Deco Rider. So for over here, you see these three have the same icon in the upper left. I could go to the Deco Rider and go bam, 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 knock out three of them. But we don't want to go over 24. So I'm just going to pick manually from here. We'll 
go back to the collection. The anti-duplicator, you're not going to use it for this level because you're not going to get any duplicates. Nothing here. And over here, there's very little. So let's do one here without using, well, we don't want to do this one. That number is too low. It's only got 14. This one's already up to 24. This one's at 22. So for over here, you don't want to use the anti-duplicator. There's only two. The chance of getting a duplicate is really low. This is called pyrotechnics. And there it is. This one is called Garland. I believe that the anti-duplicator is most useful with the large decorations. Well, maybe not. Go over here. You get your 360 shards back. So these five are going to let me uh, run the Deco Rider again. Go back to your collection. It filled in. It went up to 24. Notice that the two columns on the right advance to the next level, which means instead of uh, instead of being at 1.7%, I'm now at 1.9%. So I could go over here. I could do the same thing. It's hardest to get the level 5. Why does it say level one? Did I, did I end the wrong? Oh, okay. It's hardest to get the level five. So you really want to get the best use out of it with level five. But look, it costs 1,080. And this brings it down to 720. But we don't know which one we're going to get. Look at that difference. Now remember, this one only has 14 out of 92. That's It's higher than 14%. That means the chance of getting a duplicate is 14 out of 92. So when I do the Deco Rider, I could do random level, keep it on Lunar, random this and it brings the cost down dramatically instead of having it way up here at a thousand I can bring that cost down it pulled in a level one maybe it's a duplicate and I don't know this one is also a level one This one is also a level one. We're going to see how this works out, aren't we? A level two. That's an interesting looking person. I've never seen a sculpture like that. Terracotta recruit. Do one more. So we got four level one and a level two. Let's see how they popped up. Level one. We got two of them, which means that there were two that were duplicates. And we got the level two, which is the terracotta. Okay, so what the duplicate is doing is it's preventing you from getting the terracotta. Uh, let me see if I can find an example. You see over here, you've got tree skirt, tree skirt, tree skirt. On the upper left, it's a little square item. And then it, it's a picture of Budai. It says this one is a bull and this one is Jayosi. The duplicator is preventing you from getting two bulls or two boot eyes or two face masks. So when you go into this, there's potentially three different ones we could get. When you, This is the most accurate you can get it and you have to get it three of them. This duplicator prevents you from getting the same one three times. So let's say, for example, you're doing level five, 
and or let's check out the other levels. Let's see if there's some that don't have any duplicates. Okay, you see this one over here, which is the table. There's only one table. See the table's in the upper left corner. All these other icons don't have a table. So don't use the duplicator with the table. If you use a duplicator with the table, you're just wasting. Obviously, if you do it randomly, no, you're just you're just uh, wasting it. So don't do it. Don't do the duplicator with the table. I'm going to show you what the table looks like. I don't know which one it is. Feast. It's got to be feast. That's the table. You see the table over here in the back? That's the table. Okay, so that's a little bit of an overview on how the Deco Rider works. Uh, like I said, if you do it early, you can take advantage of the bonus, the credit bonus, and you can win the prizes early. If you do it later, you can ensure that you're not going to get all the duplicates. But again, you only get 18 of the anti-duplicators. Not a lot. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please post below.